Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about how I filmed a scene from my recent doc in an active deli at lunchtime. And we ended up with clean audio and we didn't use lights. How did I do it? Let's talk about it. All right, so some things to understand about this scene. It was a very short, but a very important transitional scene within my story. So we didn't have to have it be super long and complicated. And going into this, this was more of like a raw verite style scene. So I was okay with it not being perfect in regards to audio and lighting. But with that being said, I'm like super psyched about how it came out and it actually turned out better in the audio department than I was thinking that it would. And then obviously I did get permission to film inside of this deli at lunchtime. I had to get it approved to the management and everything, but they were super cool as long as I stayed out of the way and then I bought my crew lunch afterwards. All right, so let's quickly talk about the gear that we used for this scene. The wide shot that captured both subjects talking was the Blackmagic 6K Pro with the Canon FD 28 millimeter with ProMist. And then I had my friend Adam on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K with the Canon FD 50 millimeter, also with Promis, and he was just bouncing back and forth, walking behind me when he was switching to go over the shoulder to the other subject, and then he was switching to go to the other subject. And then I was operating that 6K Pro just in that same position for the whole scene, just capturing both subjects talking, and both cameras were completely handheld for the whole scene. Both cameras had tentacle syncs on them and the main subject had the tentacle track E so everything could be synced in post. And the other subject had a Tascam DR10L. He, he was only speaking a couple of times and we were able to sync them up super easy just with the waveform syncing in DaVinci. So that's the gear that we use. If you have any questions about the gear, just leave them in the comments below. But let's go on to the shots. So since we were trying to be super light and super minimal, we didn't bring any lights for this. And so I scouted the location before. I used the Sunseeker app to know which time of the day was gonna be best with these particular windows. Yeah, that's how we were able to do this with no lights. And then I shot with this particular booth in mind just to avoid any of the branding of the deli. Other than that, this scene was actually pretty simple. I just gave the subjects direction of what to talk about, hit record, and let them talk. So let's talk about the editing. I had to do a little bit more of the audio processing than I normally do just because we use two different labs. So I just had to do some basic EQ noise reduction to match them as close as possible. But it also helped that that second person only had a few lines that we needed him to say. So you can't really tell that they were two separate mics. And the biggest thing that I did to help with the background noise is DaVinci Resolve's voice isolation. That thing is absolutely incredible. I would have had to do so much more work if I didn't have that feature. I just put that about 15 or 20%, nothing super crazy. I didn't want to completely drown out the background because I wanted some like, some realism to the fact that they were in a deli. So we still got some of that background noise, didn't have to add any fake sound effects or anything like that. I think it blended out perfectly and it was, you know, great for what we needed. The Parkway Gardens, I think it was called or something like that. The Parkway Gardens, I think it was called or something like that. I think that covers everything with this scene. I had a few questions about how we pulled it off. Don't overcomplicate your scenes. Keep it as simple as possible. Use the right gear to tell the right story. I'm gonna do a whole color grading breakdown of the whole doc in another video. Leave any questions that you have in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Now I'm gonna play a little snippet of that conversation that happened in the deli so you can hear and see everything that we were able to pull off. Peace. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. Yeah. When I was young, I used to go by the bar on Easter Parkway, the Parkway Gardens, I think it was called, or something like that. No. Easter Parkway, Fulton Street. Oh, on the corner. Yeah, the corner bar. Buffalino's. Buffalino's owned it. I would go there with my shoe shine kit. Did you? <laughs> yeah, and try to shine shoes. But the neighborhood was good. Yeah, washing cars. Closed. The neighborhood was closed. Everybody was out for one another. Oh, yeah. Most part of it. I mean, even Pippi, man, he took care of it. Pacific Street pretty good. Like I said, it was the neighborhood. 